Hi, and welcome back to another installment of Stories Behind the Dooney. Yes, you heard correctly. I will be sharing stories about the countless things that occurred for me to make my purchases in the past. I don't have a huge collection of Doonies, but each Dooney that I possess, whether it be a bag, whether it be an accessory, I do have a backdrop, a story to it. And so I wanted to create, or I sought out to create this, this particular um, playlist of just all of the different Doonies that I have collected over the last few, few years. Primarily since the start of, or since 94 when I got my first bag at 16. And I am telling off on my age, so you can calculate that yourself. I'll never tell you. <laughs> but I am going to share another bag. Now what I've noticed of what I'm doing, I started out thinking that I was going to do this in order of my purchases. And then I decided, no, I'm feeling good today, so I'm just going to randomly pick some bags and just start talking about it. So in my playlist, you'll see my first outfit, which happened to be this one, as well as my second installment happened to be this, this one. But then I started switching it up and then I'll be all over the place. So don't be shocked when you see the same outfit. I don't really think it matters because it's never going to be the same bag. So if you're peeping behind me, you see one that I'll be showcasing in a little while. But First, I'm going to go ahead and get this other one out of the way. I'm pretty embarrassed about this bag right now because I had no idea it was sitting in the corner looking the way that it's been looking. Um, here where I am, we suffered a, a big flood where we had to evacuate our home. And I grabbed my bag and put everything in it. Because of the type of bag that this is, I mean, I just put everything in it. So I don't know what happened afterwards for it to start looking like this but please 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 comment and let me know how to clean it because it's not scratched up or anything it just has some additionals that shouldn't be there so i'm gonna bring out to you a bag that i acquired which happens to be my 10th dooney i got this bag june 2013 it was a birthday gift to myself because yes i love myself so i'm always gonna give myself gifts randomly or planned i love spoiling myself and so i purchased this bag not being a fan of this particular material of anything but i thought that the style of this bag and then having that particular material was just it for me so i bring to you my patent leather large tote shopper bag yes don't talk crazy about me please you will see that this bag has some ink stains on it which i really cannot tell you how it got like that i really really and truly don't know so please i think some good mouth soap and water is gonna do or maybe just some water but i got to get this out because that has just irked me i was just like let me let this be the first one before um I do some of them so this is my large tote this is my experience with a tote i think this was the first tote that i purchased yeah this is the first tote so you know you have luggage you have other things that's kind of equivalent but for this was like man you can't really tell the true color of it all maybe if i turn this light off you might be able to that's a little bit better it's this real hot pink and i put this scarf that i got from the dollar tree a few years ago on during the month of february so i just kept it on there but yeah that's the color of it putting my light back on i love this tote when i tell you that i can put it on i mean it just hits that elbow just a tiny smidget of a bit but not to the point where i just like oh i got to do this and put it on no that that elbow space right there i forgot what they call it i'm, I'm getting hip to all of this right now because if i can put it on this that's all that comes in my mind but i love when i put this on and i oh my gosh and i will throw any and everything in there from hair accessories if i'm just traveling or if i'm working i put my big franklin covey um the biggest planner that they have I, it escapes me the name but i have a pink one that is not readily accessible to me right now but i'll throw that in there i have a pouch that i may put um that has my my pens and stuff in there because i'm a pen fanatic we'll talk about that later 
um but whatever and it just holds everything so brilliantly well um this one of my last jobs i had this was like my mobile office like yeah i just throw everything in there and just keep it moving um i might have a coin person here or what have you something small actually one of my other things that i should have showcased along with this um i do have um a pouch that i utilize and i throw it in there and it's just the best thing ever so this particular one has feet on it so it was my i think it was my first bag that actually had feet and even the bottom scratched up with some ink i don't know if a kid just went in my room and just decided hey i'm just gonna draw on this i don't know i really don't it irks me because this is the most damaged that i think any of my bags look just ink stains ink spots but that has to come out please tell me that it will it has to come out please but you can see with this bag um the one thing that i did notice with this is that it initially had this leather i don't think it was leather i don't know what this is but I, i'm assuming it was like this painted on leather i don't know how to describe it but it had it that was on the trim of the handle and it faded and peeled so like even right here you can see where it peeled away and i guess that's just the wear and tear so i never was really bothered by it i just never wanted to separate here um the handles and be torn up and all that i do with this bag it has held up brilliantly like wonderfully um, the inside of this bag is very, very roomy. I love this bag. You see the bottom of it. I mean, of course, you can see the outside, and you, you'll know how uh, wide and so forth that the bag is. Of course, it comes with the two pockets on the inside. And then you have the other zipper and other compartment. Of course, this lovely thing that is very, very um, important in this particular type of bag because of the way that I carry it. So to have my keys hooked on here, it was always great to have that. And I think in the past, I would have those in purses and never really understood what that was for until I really kind of started becoming busy with my bags. So I definitely needed that. I also like the fact that it has an outside zipper. Let me tell you this here. I rarely use this outside zipper. I put a picture of my friend's child in here. I took it out since then. I put a picture in there. And when I tell you like five years later, I looked in there like, oh, that's where that was. I forgot I put it in there. Uh, but when I tell you, it's really new in there. It's never been used worth anything. Worth anything. It has, it is really, if I could pull it out, which I can't, but it is really, really brand new in there. I barely use it. It does not look like the inside of this bag. So I really love this. You know, patent leather, oh my gosh, even the bag, terrible. Please, somebody help me. How can I clean this? Oh, cause the spit shine ain't gonna work. And I think I've rubbed against some walls and everything. So it kind of got these white um, scuffs, marks on scuffs scuff marks on it i just don't know it's all over the place but i love this bag and it really you wouldn't think that patent leather well cheap patent leather definitely will tear up and be done and as i'm examining this purse i really have worn the hell out of it as well um, which I am finding now since this is another installment. Um, I mentioned my messenger bag and how that was my favorite bag. This is my other number one bag that's my favorite that ties with that. And now I understand why. And it's the proof. The proof is in the pudding, so to speak. Um, I showcased how that bag flap is tearing up. And I just noticed... That even on this patent leather, this Dooney patent leather, that this particular bag is worn as well. You can't really see it too well, 
I'm gonna try and get it as close to the camera as possible but in this area here I don't know if you can see it but it is really becoming warm right here uh, I didn't know it was like that when I purchased this in 2013 from Dillard's they had an orange one as well and I was like hey, I can't have the same style purse in another color even though pink purple and orange they're my favorite colors um, I just stuck with this so this is the large tote I love it I wouldn't trade it in for anything else but I definitely need to pay more attention to getting it clean because I didn't know it looked like this and like I said I bought this scarf I noticed that um, people usually put scarves on their bags and so I went and bought some things for um, Valentine's Day for a presentation that I did and I saw this scarf and I was like I'm not gonna wear it around my neck but I will put it on my back and it's been on there ever since probably the last three years so that is my patent leather large shopper Dooney and Burke uh, would I ever buy another patent leather I don't know I don't know I've seen purple I thought about this purple crossbody some years ago and I never purchased it um, it was on sale on I love Dooney I never purchased it um, that was gonna be the next one but I haven't bought another patent leather uh, I thought about it but if it becomes this readily easy to stain however way and scuff up I don't think I'd be buying another one because apparently I'm kind of rough um, but this is my go-to this is like a work bag for real for real this shows you how hard I work but to be honest with you I don't this did not come from work um, something bled on it some ink from somewhere I can't recall not even the Dooney sign it's all dingy and nasty looking because it's just been in the corner no i don't have it in a dust bag but once i get it clean it will go back in the dust bag i think that was the first bag that i acquired that has a dust bag to it so yeah that's that's my bag and that's my story it was my birthday and i was in dillard's and i was just like man it's on sale i'm getting it most of my doonies and i'm gonna tell you 95 percent of my doonies of course they've gotten them on sale you know you gotta look i can't pay full price for a bag now for one of my future bags i will be doing that because i've been waiting on this and i'll talk about that when it arrives but um Man, now nah, all my duties on sale, and I've gotten some pretty, pretty good deals, which I imagine other people have too. You know, if you balling like that, and you can buy a purse, a bag for full price, but if I can get two for that price, you paying, I am doing better than you. I am. <laughs> sorry not sorry at all but that is my the latest um, story about stories behind the Dooney. Um, be blessed and be back. Please subscribe to my page, SS Harper, and be on the lookout for my playlist because I'll be up the. <laughs> and I love to be just raw and authentic with this, but I will be updating um, as often as I can. Uh, so, yeah, be on the lookout. Thanks for stopping by and checking in and listening to me rant and rave about my Dooney. All right.